Okay, so that looks good. Let's boost into it. <laughs> How's it going everybody? Drake S here and welcome back to another episode of the best besieged creation. So today we're starting off with a hoverboard design with this cute little guy. What's going on with your leg there little guy? Are, are you nervous? I, I, I mean honestly I would be nervous too. I gotta somehow get over these rocks, go down here, do some flips and shit and land this thing. Uh, I'm gonna say you're probably gonna die my friend. Okay so let's switch to his camera and hope for the best here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, you're not supposed to go that way. Okay, well, driving the hoverboard around, gotta say, that is definitely doable. Let's try and do a little flip here. Oh, <laughs> yes, there we go. But that's no fun. The point of this is to get down, hopefully, this thing. I'm gonna try to anyways. I gotta kind of ollie over this. Perfect, there we go. Oh, fuck, I missed. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and we did a bunch of flips for the landing. Okay, so I did do the big jump. That was, that was harder than it seems, to be honest. But yeah, this is just a cool little creation utilizing the rockets to uh, make this into a projectile. Uh, I don't like that it basically stays on its feet all the time. It's using that, that glitch uh, that a lot of walkers use to keep upright. Basically, you can do whatever you want, and you're always going to land on your feet. So you can just go crazy here, and then you'll stand right up once again. Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect myself to get up there. I just killed pretty much all of them with that badass trick. Okay, next up we got the very awesome Black Mother MLRS. I don't know if this is off of a game or anything, but the attention to detail is awesome here. We got little spiders on the ground on the side of it, and basically, from what I understand, these are our projectiles, our eggs. So let's tighten these tracks up and go for a little drive here. Pay these guys a visit with my... <laughs> oh, God. That's not good. Oh. What's going on? Oh, my God. Okay, so obviously we should probably back up and avoid any sort of bombs. We do have a pretty heavy payload here. So there we go. Excuse me, spiders, or I guess my babies. That is so cool. And I'm running one over right now. I'm so sorry, little spider. Okay, well here we are at the Knights. Let's pay them a little visit with my eggs. Oh my god. This kind of does look like a spider. Like, the abdomen is done really well in this. Anyways, time to launch some rockets here. There we go! <laughs> I took out their castle right away. Oh my god. And another one, and we can just do a bunch of them because why the hell not? <laughs> Oh my god, that is a lot of freaking firepower. There's still one on there. I don't even know how to get to that one. Yeah, that one just doesn't want to leave, it seems. I don't even think that one's attached to a button. Maybe an error on the developer's part. I have no idea. Anyways, we never really see this castle being destroyed, so it definitely needs a lot of power to do that. That's seriously impressive. Okay, because we know it can actually destroy some Epsilon castles because we destroyed the uh, Sandbox one. I'm actually at a different castle here, one we don't normally see. Uh, and let's see if we can do some destruction to this thing. So I guess we'll just let these guys go and hope for the best here. Oh my god, did I hit anything there? I didn't even hit the fucking castle. How did I shoot off almost all my rockets and hit nothing? I mean, look at this... Black radius around the castle. That is the most safe castle I've ever seen. Or the luckiest one, anyway. So there we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. At least I got one to hit it. Okay, well, clearly you gotta be very close with this thing. So let's try again here. This time, we are definitely going to hit this castle. Oh, God. I don't know what's going on. I think I exploded everything. And this is how the universe was made. I can see something. Oh, that just flew by me. Uh, there's absolutely nothing on my screen. I'm actually rotating the camera right now. We are so off the map right now, it's not even funny. Well, you know what they say, head towards the light. I guess we're doing that. Okay, one more try here, just because I want to see this thing work. I'm gonna go a bit slower this time. It is just missing that fucking castle. Everything is missing. Look at it, just slightly goes over it. So let me back up a little bit. Try and set this up even better. I didn't even tighten my tracks there, but I don't need to tighten them. And once again, it's just it's just slowly going over the castle. This is this thing is not working for me. All right, is that good? Are we good now? There we go. That's the destruction I wanted to see. Yes. Oh man, it it it, it never gets old. I, I swear to God, it never gets old. Okay, but there goes all my rockets. Let's go check out some of that destruction if this thing still can run. I I actually forgot to tighten the tracks. Uh, but yeah, there's not much of the castle left over here. 
Now let me see if I can just ride right over it. Yes, I can. Look at that. That is so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you uh, the office chair. Now, I don't usually showcase these kind of weird, oddly specific designs, but this one, I mean, the attention to detail is amazing, and it's got a few tricks up its sleeve. I'm pretty sure this sheep has fallen in love with me, guys. You know what? Get the hell, get, get away from me. I just want to leave now. Okay, good, good, goodbye, sheep. Oh, God, no, I don't want to go over here. Okay, sheep. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> I'm so sorry, sheep. You loved me, but I had to run away from the knights. Anyways, now on to actually what's so cool about this thing. First of all, it's got a few speed boosts. This one... Wait, holy shit. Oh, God. Okay, let, let me be honest. This thing's called the supersonic chair, and this isn't even the fast mode, okay? So... What the hell just fell off? Oh god, and I'm off the map. God damn, jackass would love this chair. Okay, let's try and do a little jump here. That did not work at all. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm seriously scared to try out the next one because that, as I stated, wasn't the fastest form. Let's try it out. Oh, okay. So it is quite a bit faster, but it's not like crazy fast either. I mean, to be honest, that's the probably the fastest creation we've seen on this freaking show. So let me actually go to somewhere where I'm not going to crash into something and see how fast we can get. These fucking peasants, man, they even run away from a freaking office chair. Look at this guy. He just killed himself because of that. Okay, so here we go. Let's actually go to first person. Oh, I don't I don't know if I like first person on this chair. Okay, you know what? It's going to feel a little bit more epic because we're going to be going so fast. Oh, God, I can't turn. I can't turn. I can see the edge of the thing, and we're off. It's pretty bad when you don't have enough runway for your office chair. We, we, we need some sort of drag strip map for this damn office chair. Okay, let me actually try and control this. Uh, yeah, you can see it's just not turning enough. Okay, well, now that I know that I can't turn this thing when we're going at high speeds, really all that we can do is, like, a drag strip run. So I'm gonna go from one side of this sandbox to the next, and we'll see how fast we can go. First try, we're just going to use control. So here we go. This is the slow speed, or at least considered slow speed. And as you can see, we're going pretty friggin' fast. And off of it we go. Now let's actually try with the shift to see how much faster it is. Oh yeah, look at this. That's probably about double the speed, and we are off the map. But that's not it. You can also combine both of them to turn it up to 11. And let's try that out now. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the backrest almost went all the way down to the ground just from the freaking push from it. Let's watch that again. You can see it. Oh my god, that is so fast. Okay, now for the big question. How good is it at being a projectile? So we're gonna go here. You know what? I'm actually gonna try maybe from over here. You can just see it. Um, I, I just want to see how fast it comes towards us. So, oh. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately, because this chair does swivel on its own, we gotta pull it up a bit. That way I can just see which direction it's pointed at. Uh, that should be good enough to kind of see it. Yes, we can. So now I just gotta rotate it to the right direction, which is towards us. Uh, it's hard to tell if it's the back or the front. Okay, we're staring at it right now. Let's actually start moving. Yes, yes. Oh god, this is so hard to do. Guys. Okay, boost, boost, boost! Oh! Don't know even what happened, but now you can really see how fast it was. Okay, so clearly, I think it must have flew because <laughs> the only thing that fell off, off was the roof. I'm kind of bummed we missed out on that, honestly, but uh, obviously we're going to have to follow it because I can't control this thing when we're not following it. Okay, so that looks good. Let's boost into it and... <laughs> I don't know why we fell off the map, but let's see the destruction. Okay, so a fucking office chair did that, guys. Let's just take that into account for a second. An office chair just killed a fucking castle. And the great thing was that wasn't even the fastest speed. So here we go. Now we're going the fastest speed. And unfortunately, we didn't hit the center of it. I can't get back. There we go. But we did knock out all of their gold as well as a side of their castle. Okay, let's try it one more time. I just want to see it in slow motion as well. This thing's really fun. I'm sorry. I might be spending way too much time on this thing, but there's something really rewarding about it. Okay, we're nice and slow now at 24%, but obviously when we start going, it's probably going to be still pretty quick just by how quick this damn thing is. Okay, so time for some destruction. Oh, oh yes. Look at that. I just took out the whole fucking castle. With an office chair. I just want to keep saying that because it's fun. But yes, a very fast office chair at that. So yeah, only in Besiege will you find a supersonic office chair that works great as a weapon. And that's why this game is fucking awesome.
And next up, we got another roller coaster. Seems like roller coasters are all the crazes of late. Uh, this one is pretty cool because you just let it go and then you ride it just as you would a real roller coaster. You're not actually controlling it unlike the other ones. So yeah, all we have to do here is prime the coaster. I guess that's sticking it to the tracks and then pressing the up arrow and it is going on its own. That is so cool. We can also go to the different camera views. First person, of course. Planet Coaster, eat your heart out. Besiege can do everything, my friends. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. I, I wish I could have people with me. That would be way more fun. Oh, yeah. Going for the drop. <laughs> Here we go. That was so cool. That was such a quick drop. It was hard to tell because you really don't have much environmental references. I mean, it's basically all blue. But, yeah, it's working pretty good. It's a little slow. I would like it to obviously be a little bit more... You know, realistic when it comes to speedy roller coasters, but uh, I'm assuming it's just using wheels going around a track. So it's basically a roller coaster train. And we are right freaking sideways now. It's actually really hard to tell where we are. I think we're coming up to the ending. Yes, there we go for the final drop. And uh, back to the exit we go. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I did not expect that to happen. That is one way to stop a roller coaster, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, great idea for a roller coaster, as you can see, if you're curious of the mechanics, it's basically just wheels on the top and bottom, grabbing it, and then gravity doing its part. And next up, we have the Ypsilon Freight Railroad. Now, this is a pretty cool system where you can choose what you want to load up and uh, use your little train for. So what business do I want to be in? I can take trees if I want, I can take humans, I can take yaks. You know what? I think we're going to take humans. That sounds fun. There's also gold there, so we'll probably take a bit of that as well. Oh, shit, Jesus Christ, I, j I just broke the loading hopper. That's not good, but uh, there we go. We got one human in there. Let's let's grab a few more here. It seems the live humans don't like using the hopper. I got one live guy here, but uh, he doesn't want to go through the middle. So I guess I just got to kind of drag him in there. Oh, shit, it killed him. God damn it. Okay, please ignore the blood on the ground. I uh, had a hard time at loading up my hull, if you will. <laughs> I pretty much demolished everything trying to load up this thing. But yes, we have one live person, we have a thing of gold, and then we have a yak in the back. Friggin' yak backs. That just made me go through a friggin' wormhole of nostalgia. That was great. Okay, but anyways, let's actually start moving this train now. It doesn't really do much, aside from, you know, it's kinda, kinda, got a cool loading mechanism, and we got some people in here. You can load whatever you want in. Hell, we can grab a tree right now and put this in the middle, if you will. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do... Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Okay, I just want to put the tree with the gold. There we go. That's good enough. Uh, hopefully that doesn't fall off. Good stuff. Oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, so I stopped, and then I moved again, and yaks are very fragile in this game. They're actually the most fragile thing in this game that I can think of, aside from, like, chickens and sheep, which are pretty much the same. But yeah, this is a pretty cool little uh, train. Basically, you can load up any map in Tolburn, and from what I'm told, it will work on that map, so nothing will get in the way, like you can see here. It's just a well-thought-out map. Okay, but now it's time for the earthquake test. Let's see what happens when that happens. It's totally fine. All right, let's pull this one down as well. This is just fun playing with the god mode, honestly. Okay, well, I have pretty much destroyed this map just trying to be a train driver. Let's see if we can push this rubble out of the way. Doesn't matter. I still got my job. I'm still a train driver. That's what's important. And, I've, and I actually didn't notice, but I added a lot to my cargo as well. Oh, my tree. I gotta put my tree back in there. Get the hell in there, tree. Good job. Okay, and we actually did get stuck, so clearly my train career is over. I don't think I'm very good at it anyways. All right, next up, we got the A-10 Thunderbolt, a.k.a. the Warthog. This thing is just phenomenal. We got a bunch of firepower on this thing. Probably the most heavily equipped airplane that I've seen in Besiege. Based off the real-world Warthog, this thing does have a lot of similarities to it, and the attention to detail is definitely here. This thing is freaking phenomenal. Let's try and drive it here. I have to play it at a seriously low frame rate, unfortunately, because this thing is just so crazy. But even the cockpit view, man, this thing is awesome. It's got, I don't know what these things are called. I'm i am assuming it, 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 it keeps the horizon at bay. Whatever that thing's called, I gotta call it a compass. I know it's not actually that, though. Anyways, this thing's got a lot of firepower, so I'm gonna quickly go through it here. We got, of course, the Gatling gun. Let me see. Oh, am I gonna hit the statue first try? Nope, I think I missed it. All right, coming in for another shot here. Let's try again. There we go. That's got to be it, right? That is totally good, right? Oh, yes. We knocked it down. Okay, and it's got a lot of different projectiles here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go and start shooting some of these things. 
There we go. There's two rockets. There's some more rockets. There's some more rockets. I mean, it just keeps going. And then, of course, we got bombs as well. That bomb's coming down. And look at the attention to detail on these bombs. When this explodes, it's probably going to have a bunch of shrapnel. Yes, it does. I'm going to try and hit another one here if I can. Oh, there we go. Dropping another one. And, of course, the main bomb as well. Drop it as well. Okay, I just want to see this thing hit the ground here. I don't actually know how close we are. There we go. There's the ground. It's so hard to tell with that basic texture, but that was an awesome bomb shot. And, of course, we still got the vehicle to enjoy as well. There's so many different angles on this thing. It's seriously impressive. I wish I could find it. I'm actually out of the camera mode now, and as you can see, we can't see anything. Let's actually just reset it and try and fly it once again. So yeah, just an absolutely beautiful replica of the A-10 Thunderbolt. This thing is seriously one of the most impressive planes I've seen in Besiege. All right, let's just let everything go all at once. There we go. <laughs> I've dropped the rockets. That, that all obviously changes my uh, camera mode. Oh! My god, did my freaking bomb just blow up and hit me? Okay, well, clearly spamming your weapons when you have that many, not a good idea because we're going down. We're going to hit the ground here. I just want to see this thing crash now just because it's going to look freaking awesome. There we go. <laughs> and explosion. Well, guys, I think that wraps it up for once again another episode of the Best Besieged Creations. I hope you enjoyed this episode of some very awesome designs. As always, they'll be in the description of this video if you do want to download them for yourself. Thanks for watching and liking. I will see you in the next one.